If you want to stick to your New Year's resolutions but still want to eat your nachos, well, I've got a twist for you called machos. Basically, Middle Eastern nachos with a Mediterranean flair. This is a family favorite, and it's so easy to put together. All the ingredients are available in most supermarkets. So let's get started. First, instead of pico de gallo, we're going to make a Middle Eastern type of salad with only cucumbers and tomatoes as the base. So I really like Persian cucumbers for this and Roma tomatoes. The reason why I like Roma tomatoes is they don't have as much juice as heirloom tomatoes, so you don't want a watery salad. The less water, the better, and fewer seeds as well. So now what we do is add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I like a really good fruity olive oil and season it with salt to taste. And finally, the juice of half a lemon. And if you like it more sour, you could use the juice of a whole lemon. It's really up to your preference. And all we're going to do is toss this and then set it aside so that the flavors can really blend and macerate together. Okay, so that's our salad. Okay, now to a pan, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. You could use avocado oil as well. Those are my two favorite oils to cook with. And we're going to add about four cloves of garlic that have been finely minced. Now, if you're from my family, you're gonna use the entire bulb of garlic, but I understand not everyone likes that much garlic. So we're going to just saute the garlic for about one minute until fragrant. You don't want to do it more than that because you don't want the garlic to burn. So right now the garlic is sizzling. This is exactly what I want. And I'm going to add about a pound of ground beef. Now I'm using an 80-20, so 20% fat. If you want to lighten it up, you could use 96, 4% fat. So that's going to save in calories and fat. If you want a little bit more flavor, add a little more fat. <laughs> And we're going to add the seasonings now. Can't live without allspice. So I'll add about a teaspoon of ground allspice and about a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. You also want one small onion finely chopped. You can't have Middle Eastern Mediterranean food without the trifecta of garlic, onions, and parsley. Now, instead of tortilla chips, we are going to use pita chips as our base for the machos. Now, this dish actually will make a great crowd pleaser for Super Bowl if you're going to be entertaining. Or as my kids like to do, they like to eat this for dinner, their own personalized machos. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble. Since we have our meat ready, we're going to coat the pita chips with the meat, like this, just kind of sprinkle it all around. Oh. To add that Mediterranean flair, I'm going to add some feta cheese. Now, if you don't like feta and you prefer goat, feel free to use goat cheese too. But you need to have that melty cheese feel, right? You can't have machos without a cheese pull. So that's where the mozzarella comes in. Okay, so this actually only took five minutes in my oven. So I highly recommend you watch your machos to make sure you Take a look at when the cheese is all melted, take it right out, and now we're going to the toppings. Instead of sour cream for traditional ma uh, nachos, we are doing macho. So we're doing a Mediterranean style uh, tzatziki sauce. And of course, we've got our salad. And finally, we are going to add some olives. And that's it. We've got our machos ready for game day. <laughs> 